So welcome back to my channel. This is an angle gear that I bought uh, with the transmission from a guy in a town not far from here. So anyway, he he had an 850 all-wheel drive that he junked because he had some noise in the transmission and I was pretty sure the angle gear was uh, broken and it sure is uh, so let me show me show you you listen to this this is how much play there is in the pinion that's way too much doesn't sound very healthy so I'm pretty, <coughs> I'm pretty sure they ran this without oil because I pressure was washed this and I can't get this darkness out of the aluminum so this is probably from it's been running too hot so it burnt the oil in the aluminum because yeah, this car had a lot of oil leaks, so this this and the transmission was covered in oil. So I'm pretty sure it burned the oil in the aluminum because I can't get it clean like this with the pressure washer. So let's take this apart. I'm not going to drain any oil in from it because I'm pretty sure it's bone dry. So we'll see if anything leaks out. No big deal. So let's take it apart. That's all of them. Well, I cleaned up my mess here and this one was actually a, a bad buy. Uh, I thought it was just bearings that were shot in, shot in this one, but it's actually I can keep the housing because uh, the housings are known for uh, cracking or breaking. In this uh, the upper part here is this area over here <coughs> I've seen a lot of pictures of uh, this whole section kind of come off because you have a bearing here and you also got a, a bearing here there and there and it puts a lot of force on it but uh, 
get you a close up of the the ring gear. See there? There's not much left of those teeth and the ring gear. It's about the same. So how this happened, I don't know. But I, I suspect that it's been low on the fluid oil because what I spilled out and what was left in it when I dumped it, it couldn't couldn't have been more than maybe three, four deciliters. This one holds uh, 0.7 liters, 0 0.7 deciliter. Could also be so that they've been running it low on oil and it started making noises and they filled it up with oil, but then it's too late. But uh, the only thing I can keep from this one is the housing. But uh, it's always good to have a spare housing in case I break mine. So, uh, taking it apart more, I think I found what the problem with this one was, or is, or was. So, here you got the pinion shaft, or on the bevel here, angle drive, it's the input shaft. And you can see much much left of the teeth. And you got one bearing there, and then you have one bearing over here, that's this bearing. And this one, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but this is gone really hot. This bearing is, is discolored a lot. So that, that's the first, I think that's the first thing that came up. <coughs> and so, what am I saying? Sorry. Yeah, this is gone very hot. And you have a, a sleeve here for the seal. And it's really worn down. Marks from the seal. The other bearings the maze. Yeah, I mean they're kind of worn but they're not discolored well this one is a little bit discolored not as much as this one and this is so these are the shims I'm saving the shims from the number to my uh, the angle gear I'm going to use. I already checked it and it's got no play in the input shaft or output shaft. And this is the output shaft. I'm sorry. This is the output shaft. I'm confused. And when it looks like this, I'm thinking about, you know, when it's going to be around. But that's the output shaft. Sorry about that guys. So my theory is that they ran it low on oil and because of these bearings they're just lubricated by the gears throwing oil up to these bearings. And this bearing is farthest away from the gears so if you don't have enough oil in the angle gear 
the gears are not going to be able to throw it all the way to this bearing. So this bearing starved from oil, made uh, too much of a play in this shaft, and because it was too much play, it worn down the gears. That's what I think. Considering it was oil in it, but not much, and the other bearing and races are not that bad, and they're lower down, so it's more likely for this to get lubricated than this one that is way up here. So that's what I think. So this, guys, if you're running a old style angle gear on the Volvo all-wheel drive, make sure you got oil in them. Because if it's not enough oil and this bearing run out of lubrication, failure is just waiting to happen. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.